welcome to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odom, where we bring you all the exciting action of the Jaguar football program. It's brought to you by Coca-Cola, the Louisiana Lottery, Communities of Color Network, Tobacco Free Living, The Grind Inside Quarters, and Jerry Lane Chevrolet. Hello and welcome to week 15, the final week of the Jaguar football show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Of course, we've come to you this year from the grind inside quarters located at the corner of Sherwood and Corsi. We invite you to come out and support this establishment. Good folks here provide some good food, some good beverages, and some good times. Coach, of course, people could catch us on air about six times a week. Then they can also catch us on our Facebook and our YouTube channel. And of course, you can go back and look at the whole season as much as you like uh, as everything resides on those digital channels. Coach O, got to tell you, first off, congratulations. Uh, great season. We came up a little short in the SWAC championship to Alcorn, 37-28, but nothing to hang your head about because the Jaguars had a great 2018 season. Well, yeah, you know, I think the first five games we were two and three. The last six games we were five and one. Uh, you really didn't probably expect us to get to that championship game, but the players did an outstanding job assisting coaches. We rallied around each other and really got a football team playing well down the stretch, and we just come up a little short in the SWAT championship game. Tough loss, Coach, in the championship game. Electric atmosphere in Lorman. I think the fans got every nickel worth of their ticket purchase costs. I mean, the game was like a heavyweight championship fight. It went back and forth. You know, they scored, we scored, we scored, they scored. Uh, at, at one point, it was 28-27 uh, late in the third quarter. I think at the end of the day, the SWAC should have been happy with the game. Definitely the fan base should have been happy with the game. Uh, a couple of bounces this way or that way, and the Jaguars are SWAC champions, coach. Well, exactly. You probably look at five or six plays in that football game that that could have been the uh, deciding factor in, in going the other way. But, you know, I was proud of the guys. I thought we competed it for 60 minutes. I thought they were well prepared. I thought, you know, the guys came out and really were inspired to be playing in the championship game. Uh, I take my hat off to Coach McNair and his team. They were, they were very good. It was a great challenge for us. And they're coming out as uh, 2018 SWAT champions. And we wish them nothing but the best in the Celebration Bowl. Coach, a couple of questions before we jump into those highlights that everybody wants to see. The first one is, we gave up six sacks to the Braves, a lot, a lot of quarterback hurries. It seemed like we had no solution for the defensive rush. Uh, what, is, what do you have to say about that? Well, sometimes I think it's a combination of things. Uh, our receivers getting open, you know, is the quarterback holding the ball too long, or is the offensive line just just missing blocks, but it's a combination of things and you know they they've been good. They lead the country in sacks, so we know that their front was going to be a test and our offensive line had to play well and when they gave our quarterback time we were able to throw the football. A couple times we had some some miscues where the back was supposed to stay in but he, he free release and that could have been a, a missed signal on the play call but at the end of the day six sacks for them and zero for us that makes it tough uh, to win a football game. Coach, the second question we got to talk about, the Braves seem to have superior athletes on offense in regards to their quarterback, Noah Johnson, the game MVP, 147 yards on 14 carries with two scores. The running back had 177 yards on 16 carries with three scores. They seem to gash us just when they needed that big play. We corral them and then they take a third and long and make a first down or a third and long and bust a score. So it seemed like we were always right there, but then they'd have us on our heels. Well, you're right. You know, it's just their quarterback is the reason he's player of the year in the conference. And I think when you have that kind of candidate on your offense, it, it makes you tough to stop. And if you look at the teams that's been able to go forward and win the SWAT championships, they had the offensive player of the year on their side. If you go back three or four years and even to back when we won it, you, you got to have that kind of guy on offense. And 
he made some timely plays and the running backs made some timely runs. But at the end of the day, it's just the basics, you know, just wrapping up and tackling and finding a way to get guys on the ground. Uh, they willed themselves a victory, and I think that's what's the side factor in the fourth quarter. Well, let's jump into some highlights, Coach, from the first half of the 2018 SWAC Championship located on the uh, campus of Alcorn State University in Lorman, Mississippi. Uh, here we have Chaney. He had a great return there for 26 yards, Coach, to kick it off for us. And then Skelton's going to take his first possession and run for 15 yards, and the Jaguars' day was off to a good start. Well, it's always good to you know start the game fast, and I thought offensively we took the ball right down the field and we put it in the hands of Ladarius Skelton, and he made some good decisions. There you see Skelton hitting Mackey for 11, then Ben rushes for two to get get us a first down, then Skelton takes it 28 yards for a touchdown. The Fontenot comes in for our extra point, and the Jaguars are up 7-0, and just like that. It's a ball game. Well, you you know, you, you're feeling good. You go into their home place, you take the lead. You got a chance to get off the field on, on defense. You see them, nice open field tackle. There you had Caleb Carter and uh, Papillon Houston playing some great defense. Then Noah hits one for 14, another great play by Houston. Ultimately, Waller rushes for 13 to tie the score up uh, after they kick the extra point at 7-7. We get the ball, you see Skelton running for seven. We end up punting right here. Good kick coverage right great here. Great kick coverage, Coach. That is exactly why we showed that. You had great special teams coverage all year, Coach. Yeah, but you see right here, uh, they get one busted up the middle for us and give them a chance to uh, take the lead. That's that young man, Waller, who had a great day, 83 yards on that jaunt. 14 to seven at this juncture. Skelton's gonna come back and hit Smith for nine. Then he's gonna hit Catalone for six. Then Ben's gonna rush for five. Then Ben has a great tote for 23. Then Skelton's gonna hit Smith for a 22 yard touchdown with Fontenot getting the kick. And the score's gonna be 14 to 14. Right here, coach, we were trading scores back and forth. The fans had to be pleased with this offensive showcase that was going on early in the game. Well, and you knew it was going to be that kind of game if you was going to have any success. We're talking about the one and two or three offenses in our conferences and it was scoring points, and we knew it was going to be a test. We knew it was going to put some points up on the board. There we go. Lunkins stopping the Braves for no game. Then Papillon, who had a great day for you, Coach, uh, hitting the brave for a loss of one. We get the ball back. Unfortunately, Coach, sacks started to mount. Uh, the Braves seemed to get to us. Uh, Skelton tried to dance and use his magic, but the Braves were just really, really too much for us on this day, it seemed. Well, they got to our quarterback, but still a good ball game. Right here you see Skelton, a nice toss to Trey Smith. So, you know, it's plays to be made. If you got time, we know we got a guy back there that can deliver the football. Ben rushes for six. Ultimately, we punt. Johnson comes back, uh, hits Blair, but Papillon's right there for a no-gainer. Then Waller is going to rush for one. Johnson's going to take one for 44 yards and a touchdown. I think at this juncture, the score is 21-14, Coach. Uh, and that's how the first half of the football game ended. When we come back, we'll look at the second half of the 2018 SWAC Championship on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. <laughs> this holiday season Powerball is putting in extra hours to give you a special holiday bonus. Purchase any Powerball with PowerPlay ticket for entry into weekly cash drawings to win your share of $300,000. Play Powerball with PowerPlay and get your holiday bonus. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling.
Taste the feeling. Are you looking for some great food and to have a great time? Well, come eat, drink, play, and win at Quarters. We've got $7.99 lunch specials Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Or you can kick back after work with happy hour from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Then reverse happy hour from 9 p.m. to close in. Bold, play laser attack and arcade games and eat some of the best food in Baton Rouge seven days a week, only at Quarters. Coach, we're down 21 to 14 at the half. After playing them pretty close, uh, giving up a score late in the second quarter, but uh, you got a great effort, Coach, from uh, Trey Smith. Had 120 yards on seven catches and a touchdown. And of course, your quarterback, the Darius Skelton, did everything he could. 65 yards and three scores. He threw for 194 and a score. You had to be pleased with that effort. Well, yeah, I thought it was a tremendous effort on the entire team part. You know, I thought guys really played extremely hard and and really gave everything that they had. And I think that's what's disheartening about the loss is that you were right there. And we know how tough it is to get to this point, or you know how difficult that journey is and just to come up a little short. But plays were there to be made. And at the end of the day, uh, they made a few more plays than we did. Coach, you got to mention on the defensive side of the ball, you got some great efforts from a couple of your players. Montavious Gaines had 12 tackles. Uh, Calvin Lunkins had 10 tackles. Uh, Papillon, as well as uh, Chase Foster, both had eight tackles. Guys were really playing really great defense and flying around and hitting those Braves. Well, exactly. You know, I thought defensively we, we really had to play extremely well. If we could have just held them out of the end zone a few more times, I think with the offensive output that we had, 28 points, I think everybody would have said we'd had a chance to win this football game, and we did have a chance. Uh, from the, where we played them the first time in the year to to the second time. I can see that our football team, uh, we did get better. We grew up a lot throughout this season. And at the end of the day, I think defensively is the reason we got to the championship. And offensively, it took us a little while to get going. We inserted Skelton. And down the stretch, we began to play really good offensive football. So at the end of the day, we made it as a collective team effort. And we just didn't uh, get it done on, on Saturday and came up a little short. Coach, let's jump into those second half highlights from the 2018 SWAC championship on the campus of Alcorn State University. Here we see Skelton, he's going to, um, actually the Braves actually had the ball, but they start off and we actually were playing pretty good defense. Now we see Skelton stepping up, hitting uh, Trey Smith for 42, I'm sorry, Hunter Register for 42 yards, and then Skelton's going to actually take it in for a score. Well, this was the interception right here. Oh man, I jumped too far ahead on the highlights. Forgive me there, coach. Help you me out right? there. I got you. All right. You're absolutely right. So right now it's 27-14. Uh, Braves should be up. Now we have Skelton getting ready to hit Hunter Register coach for 42 yards uh, on a nice play. Then Skelton's gonna actually take this in for a score after this play. Uh, great play right there, Coach. Well, it's good to see that ball go, man. We got some receivers that can make plays, and we get back in the end zone. Right now, you, you're down 27-21. Uh, uh, you're still in the ball game. Fontenot kicks good, 27-21 at this juncture. Great hit by Tillman with a loss of one. Uh, then Gaines comes back with a great defensive play. Uh, that kid, Gaines, had a great, a great day, Coach. He was all over the field and really gave it his all. He did, and uh, really, really did an outstanding job. Right, just a nice catch by Calon. Skelton's going to run for 19. Coach, I would say this was the play of the game had we won the game. He escaped about three or four tackles and uh, really made some magic that Skelton can do and uh, really enjoy watching him do what he can do uh, this year. Tay's a good football player, and the future's bright for us at the quarterback position. Uh, we return a lot of key pieces, and right now you see us take the lead at 28 to 27. Yep, you saw Skelton hitting uh, Trey Smith for 10, then he actually takes it in himself from three yards out. We're back on defense. Papillon and Chase Foster 
hit Waller. Uh, we get the ball back. Skelton's going to hit Trey Smith for eight. They get the ball back. Waller's going to rush for two. Then Gaines is going to hit him. Then Noah Johnson's going to get in on the act. They actually get a field goal uh, right there, Coach. It's 30 to 28. Got an ounce on his drive. Yep. Skelton's going to run for three. He actually got hurt a little bit on that play. Goes out. Lampley comes in. He hits Jeremiah Houston, the tight end, for 30. That was a great play for Lampley to come in and get that hit, Coach. And yeah, we did a good job. But here on fourth down, we don't even get ourselves a chance at the ball. Yeah, you got to put it over that on the, downs in bounds. And, Defense got to hold them right here, though. Right. You got to get off the field. Yeah. Braves are moving the ball. They get a score uh, on this possession to uh, kind of get an insurance touchdown. And the 2018 SWAG champions are going to be the Alcorn State Braves. Coach, again, I thought we had a great game. Uh, I thought that, uh, for the most part, the guys played valiantly uh, on Saturday night, and we just came up a little bit short. You're correct. I think when you when you look at the overall game, you can see there were some plays to be made. A lot of peaks and valleys in that football game. We were we took the lead at 28 to 27. Got a stop on defense. Got the ball back to the offense. We had the punt, and that led to them uh, getting a short field. They get down there, they kick a field goal to go up 30 to 28. We get the ball back, uh, don't match any points. We punt to them, they punch it in, and then all of a sudden they go up 37 to 28. And you get the ball back, we get a nice play by, by Lampley right there. We get down there on fourth down, we go for it, uh, try to throw it up to Trey Smith, ball go out of bounds. Uh, three uh, first downs on penalties, really four first downs on penalties. You know, 12 penalties in a football game is just makes it difficult for you. It's hard to win those kind of games, special games of that magnitude. Absolutely. When we come back, we're going to have the Alpha Media Players of the Week and the Coca-Cola Player Interview on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Diseases from smoking kill more African Americans each year than car crashes, AIDS, and murders combined. In the U.S., about one in five African-American adults smoke cigarettes. It's estimated that each cigarette you smoke shortens your life by seven minutes. That's seven minutes less to spend time with people you love doing what you love each time you smoke a cigarette. Is it worth it? Smoking affects us all. Hi, I'm Coach Dawson Odoms, and if you're looking for a great new or used car, Jerry Lane Chevrolet invites you to come and check them out. Whatever your taste in vehicle is, they got a great lineup to fit your style, and most importantly, your budget. Personally, they're taking care of me with this great truck. I'm a big guy, and this a big truck. It's roomy and comfortable, and it has to get up and go when I need to get up and go. So remember, whatever your taste in vehicles, come visit us at Jerry Lane Chevrolet. Go Jags! Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms, where we come to you each week from quarters uh, located at the corner of Sherwood Forest and Corsi Boulevard. Coach, always at this part of the show, we have the Alpha Media Players of the Week. Who were the Alpha Media Players of the Week on offense, defense, and special teams? Offensively, it was uh, Ladarius Skelton. I thought he played tremendously in that football game. Just a spirited individual, a lot of confidence that really gave our offense a, a big boost. Uh, defensively, I thought Montavious Gaines had a great game. I thought he was all over the field, played inspired football. Special teams, uh, I really thought Martel Fontenot did a great job as a true freshman with place kicking for us. He was perfect on the night. Those are Alpha Media Players of the Week. Thank you, Coach. Congratulations, gentlemen. Coach, after the game, uh, Joe Dupree caught up with a couple of players, Devon Ben from the offense and Papillon from the defense, and filed this Coca-Cola player interview. Well, Todd, we're here with Jacoby Papillon from Lake Charles. As he played great defense sophomore, we could have played a better game tonight. How did it feel out there on the field against the Braves? You know, could have felt better. Came out with an L, but we're going to work. 
get back here. Seems to be we had problems getting to the quarterback. What was going on with that situation? They made plays. You know, we could have executed more, but we, we hold strong. We held strong. We got to keep going. Right, and of course, as we continue to see their running back, number three just seems to ran up the middle on us. Uh, what could we have done better? Just execute. Just execute. Do your job. I could have did better. You know? But we're going to get better. Hey, Todd, so. I'm here with Devon Ben, and not the way we wanted to end up tonight, Ben. Looking at it, how did it feel playing against that hard defense of the Braves? I mean, we came out. Alcon played a great game defensively. Like, we knew that we were going to come out and play hard. Um, we came out and played, stuck to our game plan, and we just it just didn't end how we wanted it to end. Indeed it didn't. However, there were some great adjustments made at halftime. Talk to me about those adjustments made to get more points on the board and to get more yards on, on, the, on the carries. Uh, we just came out and came in at half, made the adjustments we need necessary to come out and be successful in the second half, and we did that. We came out early with two scores back to back. Uh, we just got to keep on, we got to keep our foots on the next ones. We got it going, and we didn't do that. We kind of stalled out after the first two touchdowns. Well, we didn't come out victorious, but what do we need to do next year, Devon, as we continue to move toward maybe a better year next year? Uh, we got to go back to the drum, boys. We got to have a great offseason this offseason. Um, just work hard and get back in our playbooks. Well, you heard it right here, Todd, at the Jaguar Football Show. Oh, my bad. We're back, Coach. Um, thank you, uh, Joe. Thank you, Devon. Thank you, uh, Jacoby Papillon. I was admiring Coach's Bayou Classic swag there for uh, uh, the Jaguars. Anyway, Coach, uh, got to ask you one point in this game. Uh, you ran into an off – I think you – we talked about it off camera. We ran an offensive formation with three – three tailbacks we hadn't used much all year. What went into that decision uh, at that point in the game? Well, we had been struggling, you know, uh, really they had, we had punted a couple times and we've been practicing it a lot, really trying to get them a different formation that, that we were able to take advantage of some things that they were giving us. They adjusted very well and made a couple plays, but we didn't execute it. And when you do that, good teams take advantage of it. Coach, got to ask you, if you could have a do-over, what one or two things would you do differently in the SWAC championship game? Uh, I mean, I really think it's just making sure that, that we take advantage of every opportunity. We knew that coming in, we had the turnover early in the game, and we could have somehow scored some points on that drive. Uh, right before the halftime, uh, we didn't take any time off the clock, but we knew we had to score, and we had to try to take advantage of every opportunity to score. Uh, maybe move the ball a little bit, get a couple first downs, and really get into two-minute mode. And then it's just third, the penalties. Uh, we could get some of those penalties back, I think, they were a different football game. But at the end of the day, I think we still had our chances to win a football game. We got to make plays, and in a game with that magnitude, they come down to players making plays. Well, there you have it from the coach. When we come back, we're going to look at ahead to the 2019 season and uh, end this year's Jaguar football show with coach Dawson Odom. Stay with us. The biggest game of the season is here. The Saints scratch off from the Louisiana Lottery. Play now for your chance to win up to $100,000. And the grand prize, a 2019 season ticket package. Play Saints from the Louisiana Lottery for your chance to make this your winning season. For some great food and to have a great time? Well, come eat, drink, play, and win at Quarters. We've got $7.99 lunch specials Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Or you can kick back after work 
with happy hour from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m., then reverse happy hour from 9 p.m. to close in. Bold, play laser tech and arcade games and eat some of the best food in Baton Rouge seven days a week, only at Quarters. football show with coach Dawson Odoms. Coach, um, nine seniors, a lot of talent coming back. Got to got to look got to love what you got coming back for next year. Got to ask you who's your prediction for the celebration bowl between North Carolina A&T and Alcorn. Well, A&T got a lot of guys on that football team that's that's been there. Uh, they're 2 and 0 in celebration bowl appearances and they're very good. Uh, they're a talented football team defensively. And I think it's going to be a good football game. I think it's going to be low scoring because it's two of the better defensive teams in the country. Well, Coach, we're going to go ahead and take this last commercial break. And when we come back, we're going to close out this year's edition of the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Diseases from smoking kill more African Americans each year than car crashes, AIDS, and murders combined. In the U.S., about one in five African-American adults smoke cigarettes. It's estimated that each cigarette you smoke shortens your life by seven minutes. That's seven minutes less to spend time with people you love doing what you love each time you smoke a cigarette. Is it worth it? Smoking affects us all. Hi, I'm Coach Dawson Odoms, and if you're looking for a great new or used car, Jerry Lane Chevrolet invites you to come and check them out. Whatever your taste in vehicle is, they got a great lineup to fit your style, and most importantly, your budget. Personally, they're taking care of me with this great truck. I'm a big guy, and this a big truck. It's roomy and comfortable, and it has to get up and go when I need to get up and go. So remember, whatever your taste in vehicles, come visit us at Jerry Lane Chevrolet. Go Jags! Before we close out, uh, recruiting trail, it's hot. You got to get out there and get some new players, huh? Yes, yeah, that time of year. And, uh, you know, it's showcasing the Dome this week with State High School Championship games. So we're excited to be back on the road. We got a couple commitments, and we're looking forward to getting off to a great season in 2019 and recruiting. Very good. Well, Coach, of course, we always thank our sponsors, Coca-Cola, uh, The Grind, Jerry Lane, uh, Tobacco Free Living, Louisiana Lottery, uh, and Coach, great season. We look forward to uh, Jerry Lane Chevrolet. We look forward to next year. Go Jags! <laughs>